Good morning, people. Say good morning, buddy. Um, <laughs> we spent our first night in the bus last night, uh, which was nice, actually. It was a really nice night. We're right on the water. Um, it's not the best of locations, just a um, shipyard that I get a lot of work out, um, a lot of work out of. Um, so they welcome me parking the bus. I still have a lot of work left to do on this thing. Like, really, the state of the bus is a little disarray. Because um, I have, like, I don't know, tools and whatever. I've got tools and just stuff all over the place at the moment. Right, buddy? And we got, what, plants and boxes? And basically, it's like we just moved in. We've got all our stuff everywhere. Um, but we made some headway yesterday um, after working on a boat uh, or two. Actually, I got two jobs down here right now. Um, I made some headway on some of the. I, I bought an inverter, uh, 1500 watt inverter, the other day. I've got a hookup so that we have some more off grid power uh, from the batteries instead of just from the cord. Right now, we're just plugged in. Uh, we got AC and fans and power, TV, whatever. Um, cold milk, right? And um, we're waiting on a fridge and a stove. Um, both work off propane. The fridge has the alternative to work off of um, battery power, 12 volt, and also the 120 volt um, AC power, which is great because we'll have well the option should we run out of propane or vice versa, you know, any of that stuff. We'll have cold milk uh, and hot food and all that good stuff. Um, I freaking stepped on one of my solar panels yesterday while we were moving. Uh, I started to slide off the bus and lost my footing and that was my best option actually. Um, instead of falling off the bus. So, whatever, it's got a crack in it. I understand that that um, changes the efficiency, but from what I understand, it will still work. So, I'm just gonna leave it for now and just keep on upgrading with more panels like I was gonna do originally, and eventually I'll replace that. Uh, but for now, as far as um, bringing bolts in, I need every bolt I can get. <laughs> um, but I think la last night we actually had a pretty good night. Um, it was really nice and cool, um, temperate weather. Um, and again, on the water, it's just sort of serene and a little surreal uh, since we're in a shipyard sleeping and in a little box. But the bed is really comfortable. Um, that would be it. It's just like a cubby style bed. Um, a lot of finish work. We're gonna put beep board up over all this plywood. We're not gonna just live in plywood. And I've got carpet that will run down the hallway where Bub is going right now. Um, and in the back, there's plenty to do as far as just. Uh, so we moved the bus again from Fort Trumbull. Uh, they're gonna be pretty busy over the weekend. And my bus and take up too much room, uh, which was kind of expected, so that's fine. Um, pull the bus into Walmart uh, for tonight, I think. We actually got a lot of stuff I gotta get, anyways. Um, to go hook up uh, the inverter and whatever, a couple hookups. But um, we are getting a camp site at Rocky Neck. Till Friday, so uh, Sunday to Friday uh, will be our Rocky Neck, and um, probably even just crash here tonight, and then get that Walmart experience in. I guess. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, you can actually stay in Walmart in the lot for free, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you really. Walmart, which I guess we kind of do at the moment. It's 
So we have to wait till Sunday. But uh, we're at, we're gonna stay up at um, the shipyard I'm going to tomorrow, uh, which is a lot nicer than Fort Trumbull, by the way, guys. Um, Ragged Rock. Or in and about Ragged Rock, might not just stay there, but there's a there's a lot across the way, that kind of thing for overflow traffic. We'll see. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go in. I gotta buy some connectors that I need for the batteries and stuff like that. Um, there you go. That's what's going on today. 